After a beauty of Need for Speed didn't deliver something that gaming community expected, everyone expected it to be something like the old classic Underground or Most Wanted. And yeah, in the end, it didn't end up as a good Need for Speed game. What a sad story. Never mind, that doesn't mean that it's a bad game exactly, there are a few bugs here and there, but hey, it's published by EA. Bugs and problems are part of their history. In the end it's just a game where everyone just want to tune some cars with rich customization that new Metro Speed uh, has to offer, but can people that don't want to tune their potato PCs enjoy this game as well? Well, no, and yes, let's see. Let's see what can be done. So here we have as always Need for Speed running at 10, 24 by 768 resolution and all settings torn down to the lowest possible. Um, and we are getting around 23 to 25 frames per second, which isn't really bad. Well, some people will consider this uh, as a playable experience. Now let's see if there's something else we can do to make this old bad boy run this game at all. It's time for Lospex Experience, the only software ever developed 100% dedicated to Lospex PC gamers. Yes ladies and gentlemen, this software will downgrade your game to even lower settings than you can actually go, while maintaining the balance between quality and performance. So everything you need to do is to simply download Lospex Experience and then install it. After you install it, start it up. And then click on Optimization tab. Then again on the left side select optimization. Now from this drop down menu select the reboot of Need for Speed. Now before we start with optimization don't forget to copy this tag from this text document and paste it to your game's game properties in origin or shortcuts target. So simply copy it and paste it. Ok, it's done now, so basically everything you need to do here in Lostbox Experience is to simply select the resolution you want to run your game on. Yes boys, it can go even as low as 480 by 320 but that's only good if you are using your mobile phone as your monitor. <laughs> I'm just kidding. For example, I will select 800 by 600 because we are aiming at 30 plus console master race cinematic frame rate, of course. One more thing, if you selected one of the resolutions that require CMD and rest switch to operate normally, don't forget for Lord Gaben's sake to start it from your desktop. Just start it and then minimize it. After that start your game. Ok done, it's time to see what are the results, whoops, that's way above 30 FPS cinematic console master race. So the conclusion is, yep, definitely an improvement. We are getting around 40 frames per second now. There are a few frame drops here and there, but hey, but nothing to consider it as an unplayable game. Also, don't forget to, if you are not happy with the results or look the graphics, you can always restore default game settings, but remember always, so don't be afraid to try a specs experience and make your game smoother. Also, if you have any questions, problems or anything to ask related to Lospex experience, don't forget to check out help tab, from here you can contact us whenever you want and we'll answer all of your questions usually under 24 hours. That's it for this video, I'm leaving you now with some more footage of the reboot of Need for Speed, don't forget to like the video if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, leave a comment below, share with your friends, do whatever you want and I'll see you next time with a whole new video, bye bye.